My issue uh, is, of course, my issue with the, the, the legislation isn't one that Kalia can take up, and that's more for the New Hampshire legislature. Uh, but I think the, the fact that Manchester PD violated that for at least, I think there were four arrests for refusing to move. And so far, I don't believe anyone's been convicted of the criminal level refusing to move only the violations. I was found not guilty of either. So uh, all the while that police were taking cameras from private citizens at the protest, they failed to record or, or to save any of the footage that was recording from their own cameras affixed to the police station. Um, this is at best a negligent destruction of evidence, and at worst, it's the covering of one's tracks following a massive violation of multiple civil rights. Aside from losing their own footage, the collection of evidence from confiscated cameras was botched. Uh, for the fifth person arrested that day, who recorded her entire encounter up to the point that she was arrested, um, many private video images and uh, photographs from her phone were taken off when, uh, when it was collected as evidence. However, the most important video, the video of her actually being arrested, was not included with the evidence in the case. Um, so also th those private images that were taken off of her phone were sent to everybody that was arrested that day not even uh, if it was relevant to her case. Um, so Manchester police not only violated the privacy of those whose cameras and phones were taken, but also violated the sworn terms of the search warrant, which authorized the extraction of only evidence that is relevant to that event and that specific date and time. Uh, while I have addressed much of the negative I have experienced from the Manchester Police Department, that is not to say that all of my interactions with officers employed there have been of the lesser professionalism that I experienced on June 4th. Uh, though I was forced to invest my own resources into defending myself from their legal attack, having the opportunity to have succeeded against an employed attorney for the city without paying for a lawyer myself and representing myself, uh, from this experience I feel that uh, it's taught me a lot about the legal system and I plan to use what I have learned to help others uh, who have become victims of frivolous charges and until those loopholes exploited by unaccountable authority are closed. And I welcome any questions. Well, I appreciate the fact that you've brought your concerns to our attention, and we will look into the comments that you've made. Thank you. Barbara Miles. Welcome to New Hampshire. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity to speak.